They got like an application for a phone. I can learn the rules. What are these trust exercises? Who's uh, orange shoes there? Gareth Bale. That's Gareth Bale. Where he's from? He's from England. Wales. Wales. Wait, that's another country? Yes and no. How many countries are in this country? Four. But but I'm learning, and and I want to learn. But these young men, they just would not understand exactly what I was trying to get them to do. Guys, all I'm looking for is 60 percent effort, 4,000 percent of the time. That's it. Skip. Skip like little girls. Go, not a, not a care of the world. I'm lucky to be doing this for a living. Everybody just do the robot. You got to ride a few players a little bit harder than some of the other players. Blondie, you are killing me. John, what do you got on there pants-wise? What is those? Three quarters. Three quarters. And I get those in the women's section, John. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball with your hands. That is a violation. What is going on, guys? Manic Badger here. And yes, we are back with yet another episode. Trying to keep them as daily as possible. And if I can upload them and keep you guys happy, then that is what makes me happy. We've got a game against West Brom today, also followed by Southampton, who just knocked us out in the cup. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check that out. But in the meantime, I just quickly wanted to head across and show you guys who we've added to my shortlist. So these are the ones that we've got to look at, and these are the key positions. We're looking at center back, we're looking at left back, the center of midfield, CDM position, and also the left mid side of things, and also maybe some strikers, but um, this is early doors, so we're gonna start building it up. And uh, what would be really helpful is if you guys let me know sort of your top two players for each position, because I've got quite a few, and then we'll sort of see if we can bring them in for the uh, January transfer market, which is going to be here any day now. It's going to come in real quick. Anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about our shortlist. So, the first of the four centre-backs that we have is Koulibaly. 72 overall. Really seems to be quite decent. Nice speed, nice tackling ta uh, statistics there. Another guy that we're going to... Um, that we're going to scout is David Costas who's supposed to be a really good up and coming um, defender, he's only 19 in the Premier League already busy scouting him currently Nathan Baker from Aston Villa he's supposed to be quite uh, high potential and then also Frederick Sorensen, now Sorensen is currently at Hellas Verona but he is owned by Juventus, so is this one of the players that is going to be really good in the future? Is it worthwhile gambling on him? Or is he going to be maybe a player that always seems to be like that but never quite gets there? So who out of those four centre-backs do you want me to carry on scouting and see if we can get more information or should we just do all of them? Anyway, left-back position and this guy's already on the transfer list. Marcus Alonso, he looks to have, I mean, look at his stats. They look to be pretty all right for what we need. Anything's going to be better than Kincheski and because he's quite young, Hopefully his potential is going to be um, in, in the 70s, mid-70s around that. Another one, half a million. They want for Michelangelo Albertazzi. Or oh, Albertazzi. Anyway, uh, the left back for AC. I don't know why I did that. But our left back from AC Milan. He could be quite nice. Again, his stats are pretty good. Not as good as uh, Alonso's, but yeah, still pretty nice. Then this kid just came up on... Um, you know, on the news bit, it said these guys, this guy's a wonder kid. So I went and thought, oh, let's go and have a look at him. And he's a left back from Turkmenistan, um, 18 years old. He's got a lot of form, so let's see if he can do anything. And this is somebody that I also found. He's supposed to be quite good, decent shot um, on him, and he's um, got a good cross on him. He plays in the Turkish league at the moment, and he's only 20 years old, a young Egyptian man. Anyway, into midfield, Luca Moroni, who is listed on the transfer list. He's only just got to Juventus and they wanted to sell him already, so I don't know what's happening there. But um, in terms of replacing Cambiasso, he's 24 years old. He's not as quick, which is fine. Cambiasso's not very quick. His passing's quite high and his shooting's quite high is what we really like. But his tackling's also very good. Another guy that we're looking at is Johannes Gaius, or... I'm not sure how you say it, I'm just going to say Gaius. And he's supposed to be one of the highest 
top-rated potential young play young players to come out of Germany. But look at that already. We haven't even scouted him, and people are already saying physically, his jumping, stamina, strength, and balance, and his reactions are good. He's got vision. He's got shot power. He's got curve, short passing, long passing, long shots, standing tackles, crossing, ball control. That's not even fully scouted yet. So I can't wait to see what our scout report says on him. And then on the left-hand side, I think this is the last one that we have. Yes, Nathan Redman, currently playing in the league below. He should be playing in the top tier of English football. He's really quick. He's got good agility and balance, and he can whip a crossing, which would be really helpful because Scarioni is obviously a cam, and we're playing him out on the left. So we could um, see if we can bring some of them players in because, like you see at the bottom there, our finances are not very good we can bring in maybe a couple of them on loan unless we decide to start selling people but even if we do our top valued player is scarioni who we bought for just a couple of million anyway so unless we maybe look at getting rid of schmeichel maybe is that sacrilegious i mean we've got Reina coming up who we're actually going to start in the next game against west brom but should we just play Reina all the time and just see how far he can grow should we get rid of Schmeichel? We could maybe get 5 million for him or something like that. Unfortunately, we haven't got Vieto yet, but we'll see if we can bring him in as soon as possible. After having a look at the, um, the transfer budget that we have, it's not very much at all. So I thought maybe we should request some funds from the board. Now, I don't know if they're going to give it to me because I'm only, I've only been there for a short time. Well, Ted Leto's only been there for a short time. But I reckon we can finish mid-table. I mean, we've started really strongly. And I'm asking for 10 million. And I'll say we'll reach, finish in the mid-table and we'll also reach the quarter-final. It might be ambitious. But hey, at least we'll be able to bring in the players if they give us that 10 million. This is the squad that we're going for against the West Brom game. We're going with Reina in nets, giving him another run out, seeing what he's like. He played quite well in his first debut. He's getting another run out. Simpson on the right, Rowling at centre-back with Morgan, we've got Koncheski on the left, Scarioni ahead of him, Drinkwater, Cambiasso in midfield, or Brighton on the right, uh, Di Natale at centre-forward, and Vieto up front. Should we have a shot? Oh no, he's marked too tightly. Vieto plays it through, Scarioni scoop onto that, finesse, Scarioni! Oh, it's in post, post! Are you shitting me? Every single game we seem to hit the post and that time EA was like, oh well, we'll just hit both posts then. Oh, Di Natale steals it, challenge. plays it through, oh Vieto's offside, he's got to be. This could be a Is he? He wasn't offside. I just had the shot because I thought he was offside. He's got a chance to cross. He's got to cross oh, I heard that. Defender gets there first. Comes out. Oh no! Keep it in! Oh my god! Yeah. They do well. Oh, Be able to use the tank sound effect. What do you guys think about that? Boosh! And again! This is an excellent cross. He's coped with it well. Scarioni takes a good touch. Scarioni! Oh my god, how did you miss that? They're happy with the draw. Di Natale gets it through here. Cross it in. That's a corner. Send the keeper up. Go on. Head it. Morgan. Kincheski. Oh, I don't want to shoot with him. Don't counter, Morgan. A very crisp there. Oh no. Morrison. Oh, that's a free kick. Oh, what? A, I'm sorry for that, guys, but sometimes you just you just struggle, and we did then. Couldn't hear our new celebration music whenever we score a goal. Need a goal for that to happen, and it didn't. Okay, here we go against the bastards who dropped us out of the cup with that last minute in extra time goal from Shane Long legged Mac Daddy. And there he is, he's playing again.
Oh, Scarione's still got the ball. Let's have a shot from range. Excellent block. Defender was too close. But Vieto wins the ball. Yezhoa! Keeper play, saves. Vieto. He wants it back from his teammate. And there it is. It's come back. Yezhoa making a great run here. Let's see if he can whip a good cross in. Cross Cambiasso's out. in the box. So Cambiasso! Cambiasso! Good Cambiasso. save. And the goalkeeper very much back over the wall. Knockout. Get a cross in. Knockout to Yezhoa. Oh, to Schlupp. Save! Schlupp seems to be the most promising player up front so far. Right, let's go run near post. Vieto's up front. Vieto! The keeper saved again! Changing formation, going to 4-3-3 with a holding midfielder. Cambiasso's going to stay in that holding role. While Scarioni and Yujoa come off for Rolando Ahrens and All Brighton, who are coming on to the wing position. Head out, head out. That's good, Vieto. Go for a run. Oh, Vieto's worked a little bit of space. He's on the counter. Let's go, Vieto. Please, please. First time shot. Oh, no. Vieto. Oh, my God, ref. Send him to jail. That's a red card. He didn't even get the ball. He wasn't even going for the ball. That was an easy decision for the ref. Well, he's dived Look at in. that! He could have killed Vieto. He could have been killed. I think the FA has got to look into it. I think, irrespective of him having a yellow card, he should be banned for a long time because that was the most dangerous thing I've seen in a football field for many, many years. That left foot might suit him better. Let's go for it. Just over the wall, knockout. Nice and easy. Knockout! Oh my god, the direction was terrible again. Aaron's plays it out. Touch! Oh, can that see it again? 2 0 nil draws. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what to do, guys. I, I'm absolutely. I can't understand how he got 2 0 nil draws. I'm going to try and see. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Um, right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Is I'll make a deal. Because that episode. Hopefully it was still enjoyable to watch. There's not many highlights. We didn't get any good results apart from obviously not dropping any points. I'll upload this now and if this episode gets five likes, only five, what I'll do is I'll do another upload tonight. And in that special upload we will have our game against Sunderland. But I'll also include... Our first international games uh, for Poland against Switzerland and Sweden, which should be pretty tough games. Remember to drop a like, five likes, and I'll do a double upload. I'll upload another one tonight with that special episode. Subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace.